I wanted to talk about, and I keep it real with everybody in my videos. If you like what I say, great. If you don't, great. I really don't care. In my video, I can say what I want. But no one gives a rat's ass. Okay, guys, so it is February the 18th. I'm halfway through this at least workout program, and I've been exhausted, <coughs> exhausted, which is good. Um, if you've seen the previous video that showed you what I do during the first half of the week, and now I'm going to make some adjustments until six weeks out from the meet. I really need to get away from doing one reps right now. It's too early for that. I need to stop doing that. I know it's part of the ego, which I'm trying not to be. But I'm just like, it's not ego to like show off to people. It's like more of like ego in myself uh, to to be like, oh yeah, you're strong, and to prove to myself that I'm strong. But it really doesn't. It just doesn't really matter right now. Um, so I'm just gonna ruin my training if I keep doing that. So um, until six weeks out. I'm going to start doing two sets of five, three sets of three, uh, unless for some reason I'm really exhausted. Like today is more like a, uh, still the same rep range, but you know, I'm more exhausted today. I'm really sore. Um, yesterday, I went, we came in and we lifted, I want to say it was around like eight. We were in here pretty late at night. Um, and we got in here around the end of the day. So, you know, not too long of a rest period in between. So, I'm definitely more exhausted because when you deadlift, definitely uh, exhaust your lower body, I mean, your full body, honestly. And so, coming in and doing deadlifts, it's definitely. <laughs> definitely need a good new mattress because, let me just tell you, I woke up in the middle of the night and my back was hurting. I thought I had a stomach ache and it was just my back because screens were like hitting in the back right where your lower back engages <laughs> for a deadlift. I was just miserable. I had some like shit last night. Um, but whew, that's enough talking. I need to get back to work. <laughs>
Okay, so one thing I wanted to talk about, and I keep it real with everybody in my videos. If you like what I say, great. If you don't, great. I really don't care. In my video, I can say what I want. But no one gives a rat's ass. I see all these people all the time posting their one rep max for a glute thrust. Who cares? Like, it's not that big of a lift. You don't really do too much with it. And just because you can one rep max it, it's not impressive. <laughs> no one cares. It's really not anything that you need. You're never going to do it in a lifting meet. It's not something that doing one rep max is going to improve anything on. Yes, you want to make sure you do strength with it because it's going to help with squats, deadlifts, stuff like that. But it's nothing to be like, look what I did in one rep max. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. No, nope, no one cares. So no one cares. You want to make sure that you're doing a good lift. You want to make sure you're doing enough weight so that way it engages the glutes more so than the hamstring. See, all these people trying to do it, and they're engaging the hamstring, and that's why. It is a hip thrust, not a hamstring thrust. Different. Use your glutes more than your hamstrings. If you feel your hamstrings are overpowering it, you need to lower your weight. Stop doing this, oh, I can go up weight. Who is my strongest lift? Who gives a fuck? Lower it down. Do the exercise correctly. Stop trying to impress people with a fucking glute dress because no one gets a fuck.